pricing days. What did you see? Did you see who jumped over the top at the end? Yeah. Uh, with the, you know, it was a little scuffle today. It's, you know, not important. It's, it's football. It's training camp. You know, it gets a little testy. We're probably <laughs> at our wits end of going against each other. And so it's really good and be refreshing. All right, to have Miami come in over the next next uh, three days. Those guys will be here, be able to practice against those guys. So really looking forward to the joint practices versus Miami. Uh, had a good conversation with Mike and our, our plans of how practices will go. So excited about the opportunity, right, to get a chance to go against a different scheme, different people. It's coming at the right time for our group, and our guys will be ready to go and excited about it. As a coach, when, you, when this kind of situation happens, we get another team coming in, is that a better evaluation to when they are facing somebody else out there? Right, it is, it is a much better evaluation, right? We, all, we see our corners, and they cover the same receivers all the time, and our receivers running routes against the same DB. So... That's where we get an opportunity to see, right? Different matchups to see, you know, how those skill sets translate going against someone else. So I'm really looking forward to, you know, the, the one-on-one matchups we'll have versus those guys. Yeah, you you the other out there, the left tackle, um, what behind that, and what do you think about him out there? With our off- offensive line, there'll be a lot of shuffling. As of right now, in training camp with every position, there's a lot of shuffling guys around. Guys will play different positions. And this is the time to see, you know, what guys can handle, who can absorb multiple positions. Because when you go into a season, right, and you're limited on the amount of guys in your roster, it's very, you know, comforting to have guys who have versatility, flexibility to be able to do more than one thing. What do you remember about McDaniel in your three years when he's here? He's an offense. He just kind of kept to himself. Do you have any memories of those three seasons? Uh, yeah, with, with McDaniels, uh, our office is right next to each other. So spent a lot of time with him. One thing you know, I know about McDaniels is the thing that jumps out, he's the first guy in the building, right? Every morning, he's the first guy in. He's always grinding on the tape, always looking for different ways to try different runs, attack in a different manner. McDaniel doesn't just go with the flow of the norm of how things have been. He's going to press the button, or he's going to try different things, and it's worked out for him great there in Miami. He's done a really good job of leading that team. What do you remember about him when he was here? He was a quality control offensive guy. Just kept waiting to ask. <laughs> yeah, when I was here, I knew McDaniels just as a young assistant, right, to kind of tie to the hip with uh, Coach Kyle Shanahan and just doing anything that was asked of him. I think working hand-in-hand with Coach Kubiak and Kyle in the offense, I think that's where he, he cut his teeth, and that's where he learned his offense. And he's done a great job throughout Coach, his career. Uh, is the game plan uh, Sunday against the Dolphins for CJ to start again? And would you say, are we still currently in an open quarterback competition? Yeah, as of right now, on Sunday, we haven't discussed the reps. As of yet, we're still just getting through practice. We'll discuss the rep count and how we'll go about that game after we go through the two practices with Miami. So we'll be, have an answer after that. Kind of in relation with your mixing and matching offensive linemen, It doesn't. I think uh, when we go to how many reps we're going to play them, we'll look at it collectively. And I think at the end of the day, we want to see guys just go play, get more time than they did the first time out, and just you know see how they handle more. So it doesn't matter who's out there with the offensive line. It's not going to dictate you know which quarterback is in. Coach, you said that uh, you talked to Coach McDaniels about the preparation for the upcoming joint practices. How will you all be able to control that type of environment going? Yeah, how we control, you know, the joint practices. We had a conversation. Both of us view it the same way, right? It's we don't want to turn it into a, a shoving match, or we just want to work. We want both our teams to get better at football, and so we want to practice. We don't want to lose time with guys wasting time with stuff that doesn't matter about football when it comes to shoving and fighting weight. We don't want those things. So if anybody, you know, our agreement, anybody throws a punch, just like happens in a game, we're going to play within the rules. You throw a punch in a game, you're kicked out. It's the same thing in practice. Now nobody throwing punches, and we have to get them out of practice. But we just want these practices to be productive, and that's what it's about, and we'll handle it that way. We'll take a few more. Uh, we got no practice for the day. Just how do you play? 
just day to body management. We have a lot of guys, as you see in our practices, you'll see guys under a load management, and some guys won't be out there. So it's one of those things. You have a chance to chop it up with Henry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Not too much. <laughs> what, what have you, you seen from him in his growth, and, and, and what are you trying to kind of, I guess, get across at this kind of early stage? Yeah, with Henry, man, I see a, I see a sponge. Right? He's, he's willing to soak it up and learn as, as much as, as we can teach him. And you know, have a guy who's that willing, right, he has the opportunity to become a really good player because he's willing to put the work in, he's willing to learn. He's studying extra at night with uh, Coach Kiffin and, and Coach Bowling. Like, he's doing a really good job progressing pretty fast for a rookie with some of the things that he's picking up on and the communication that he's able to handle. He's uh, he's well well ahead of where he should be. Jimmy, can I just say that the preseason games aren't as important, but in the practices when you get to see good-on-good, first-on-first team, do you see as much value with those in the preseason games? For me, in the preseason training camp, every – Everything matters. It may not count, but it matters. And so everything that we do, whether it's reps out here on the practice field or getting real life game reps, they all matter to us and they're all important. A couple more, Dave. Coach, can you tell us a little bit about just the, the progress you've seen John Metchie make over the course of his return to football this summer? Yes, having John back has been, um, it's been thrilling to have him back. We're very proud of John and what he's done. Everyone knows what he's battled through. It's been tough on him. Right, and uh, it's encouraging to others to see how he's persevered throughout the difficult moments, the difficult times when football wasn't at the forefront of his mind. It's really awesome to see him back out working and getting back into football and seeing him progress the way he's progressing. He's been very encouraging and uplifting to me just to see him, see his mindset, how he works out extra after everybody is done. He's still out here on the field putting in the extra work, extra time, and very proud of, of John and happy with where he is. Coach, what are your expectations for him this season? Just to be better each day. That's the thing for John. I think he's overcome a lot. Right? He's he's very successful right now in my mind, whether he's overcome and whatever else comes of that with football is a plus. Coach, when you, Last one. Coach, when you look back at the film on Juice Drugs, what did you like about it? And have you noticed his harmonious action working with both CJ and Davis two periods of quarterbacks? Uh, with Juice, he's been, he's been very consistent throughout – OTA's training camp, Juice has been consistent in the game. He did a really nice job in the game with some communication things that we hadn't covered, but to see him, you know, operate on I me mean, and be able to fix problems out there on the offensive line, it was really cool to see. And, you know, Juice has done a really good job and expect him to continue to grow. As a young player, he's doing in a really good spot, and I'm excited uh, to see Juice continue to play. Thanks, guys. All right, thank you, guys.